Welcome to step three of importing your overlay into OBS uh, in order to use it for your TTRP, your TTRPG stream. Um, I'm showing you this in OBS. If you happen to be using a different application, that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm just going to show you in OBS. So the first thing we need to do is create a new scene for where this overlay is going to live. So we're going to create a new scene and I'm going to call this TTRPG active game active game all right call it whatever you want but we're going to call it this so now we come back and now we have nothing in our sources this is where we're going to bring our overlay i'm now going to hit plus this is going to add a new source this is going to bring up all the different things that you can import into your scene all we need to worry about right now for this one moment is the image and you can see these are all the supported images, but we need a PNG because we need that transparency. Now, these are all the different ones I have already loaded into this particular scene collection. We're going to add a new source, and we're going to call this one Overlay. Add Source. Now it's going to let us find it. This is typical for whenever you're looking at uh, any kind of you know, importing any kind of file. Boom. Bring it in. Done. We have our overlay and you can see now this is why you want to take the time to get that green stuff out or cover it with something but this black area is still transparent this is where the video can live so what do we need to do we need to now import the video so i'm going to add plus and now i'm going to do a video capture device um when we stream for tmax we use either discord for the video or we use zoom in that case, I would be using window capture because I'm capturing a very specific window. Now, because this is local for me, I'm going to do the video capture device. And I'm going to add source. And you can see I already have this, this for other parts of this. If it weren't, I'd have to find my webcam. So I'm going to add source. But now you can see uh -huh, it's on top. So I'm going to position it. And I'm going to make sure that I get this to be the right size there okay now I'm still living on top you could have it be this way this is perfectly fine but I want it to look better than this so I'm gonna drag this layer now underneath and boom I now live in this area here and this allows me to resize and do whatever I want to my video but it's only gonna take up this space that I've allocated for it now, if you were, again, doing a remote game, like over Zoom or over Discord, you would be using window capture instead of capturing a specific uh, video device because your camera, for the most part, can only be used by one application at a time. So you would do window capture and you would just capture that window uh, four different times and each time you would crop out the other people. And you can use that, I believe it's, we're going to, let's do a, a test here. I'm going to crop this, ready? By hitting Alt, I can crop the size of this. So that is what you'd want to do. You would want to uh, crop the size of it to make sure that they're all fitting just within there. There's no overlap as the different videos are, overlap, are, are hanging out back there. Um, now, if you're doing a live game where everyone is in the same place and you have multiple cameras, an example of that would be uh, Penny Arcade C-Team and Critical Role uh, or a lot of the live games. I think um, Deborah Ann Wall's game of um i'm forgetting the name of it right now and i'm really sorry but uh they had all cameras you would then capture individual cameras and put them where you'd want them to live but that is how you create an overlay for obs import it and get your cameras set up if you have any other questions whatsoever about how to do this feel free to reach out to me on twitter at the saint brian and i will gladly help you out with setting up your uh, OBS overlay for your TTRPG game. And make sure to tweet at me and at Eat, Drink, Roll to let us know about your game, and we can make sure that we share the love. So thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.